Hello everybody, uh, Ian Smith from Ian Smith Photography coming to you today from my new gallery here in the south of Sweden and today I'm going to talk to you about the five reasons I got into photography all the way back in 2015. So how do I start? Number one, maybe, maybe the most important reason I got into photography although I didn't know it at the time, was actually mental health. I know it's a little bit of a taboo subject. I don't want it to be like that. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about it. But at the time, I had no idea it was just something new. Anyway, rewind a little bit. Let's go back 30 years ago, something like that. Bit of a long one. Uh, but it's still the first on the list and probably the most important reasons I got into photography, although I didn't know it. So I left school, uh, as we do, and uh, I spent 30 years, a bit more than 30 years, working on a tennis court. Uh, yeah, a tennis court. Uh, as a tennis coach, um, I worked pretty much all over the world. And, uh, and I even got to national coach status in a couple of countries and I worked with Fed Cup teams and Davis Cup teams and world rank players, world rank juniors. And, you know, yeah, it, although it seems like a, a, a dream job, a dream lifestyle, and it was a passion for me ever since I was like three years old. Um, the, the biggest problem is, is that, you know, as we get kind of longer in the tooth, Maybe become a little bit less patient with people, and um, maybe once upon a time you could um, reason things out. But I definitely, as I got older, I, I couldn't do it, and it kind of manifested itself in a, a kind of general anxiety disorder, which um, I've carried with me for yeah over thirty years, and um, perhaps high level tennis and all the pressures and the the strains that come with it from uh, working with federations to pushy parents and yeah, children that perhaps aren't the best behaved in the planet and so on, you know, built up a great big load of stress and um, I wanted out. So we moved to Sweden and um, back in 2015 and I picked up a camera and uh, I chose to spend my days out in the, uh, the countryside and the seaside and roaming around. And yeah, lo and behold, the stress went away. Yeah, it, it just disappeared. And you know, like there was various other sort of medications and so on, which really didn't do a whole lot of good. I had really high blood pressure. Um, yeah, it was pretty ridiculous for many years and it just wasn't under control. Uh, despite um, medication and so on. Um, back, in, back to Sweden again, we, we changed the medication, everything, everything became much better. And I don't put it down to drugs, I don't put it down to uh, anything other than a complete and utter change of lifestyle. You know, I'm my father and my husband, uh, we live in a beautiful place, and um, yeah, you know, photography, I mean, who can get stressed when you're, you know, like in a beautiful sunrise or sunset and you're out in nature? It's, yeah, okay, times of the day that most people will be tucked up in bed, but that was my choice to do that. And it has made a huge difference to my, to my well-being. Uh, I now do not have high blood pressure. It is medicated, I have to say. And I would never suggest anybody to, to change that. But it, it is all to do with stress levels and they're just non-existent. Yeah, we have worse and better days and so on. Of course we do, everybody does, but um, I, I'll thank photography for, um, for my mental health uh, and improving uh, my mental well-being kind of out of sight. And um, yeah. I'm pretty competitive when it comes to things and, you know, mind over matter has got a lot to do with it. Um, 
but your surroundings, the people that you choose to share your life with and, uh, and being in nature, there is no better cure for stress than that. So that is my most important uh, reason for getting a photography, is better mental health. And I can't recommend it enough. Shaky table. Okay, so number two. The second reason I got into photography, um, well, it's a funny one. It, it's actually music. Um, ever since I was a child, maybe 12, 13 years old, um, I've been a fan of music. And um, yeah, my first album that I got was uh, Wings Band on the Run. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, I kind of got really, uh, really into to music, but never as a musician. I tried to play the piano, I've fiddled about with a guitar, being incredibly impatient. Um, I want to play the guitar today, not tomorrow, you know. So I just haven't had the patience to keep going with it, and um, it's just my character, I guess. So I've always been looking for this uh, creative outlet and, you know, photography ended up being the creative outlet that I, um, that I never knew I needed. <laughs> um, but there you go. So I, I, I got really, uh, I really sort of feel the synergy between music and photography. I, and I actually know other photographers who are actually musicians as well. and. Um, you know, they feel the same way that there is a synergy, but I don't have the ability to play. You know, I'm involved in the, the music industry. I, I kind of have been for maybe 20 odd years in the capacity as a um, friend to some musicians and I've done various band promotions and so on. Um, but, you know, just rewind a little bit, um, being a kind of rock man, progressive rock man, um, and I'm a metal man, you know, physically, but, um, yeah, so being into sort of like the, the kind of heavy stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah, I might be nearly 56, but, you know, I still like it. Um, anyway, um, I, I feel, you know, photography is a lot about feel too, and um, I often have musical passages in my mind, or the, the, the compositions that I create as a photographer, um, I, I can actually see um, the compositions developing um, in a way that may be similar to somebody writing music. And um, although I can't verbalize it the way I, I necessarily want to, um, there is a synergy. Um, and uh, music is obviously extremely creative, and, uh, and so is photography. And, uh, it was skills that I never knew I had. I mean, I, I came from playing tennis, coaching tennis, and yeah, that's you know a lifetime of you know hard work. And you know, okay, my fitness is gone now, but um, I was pretty fit. And you know, the dedication that you have to have to something like tennis is something that that is normal to me. Um, but, but photography wasn't, and, and at, no, at no time was I ever artistic or creative. Um, and learning photography and the skills that come with it definitely, definitely gave me this, um, this creative outlet. So I'm going to go, number two is, uh, is music, and music is probably the second most important reason I got into photography. So number three which probably could quite easily be number one. Um, I grew up in the west of Scotland and spent most of my, my life there until I was in my 20s. And um, as everybody, as the whole world knows, it's a really beautiful place. But f for me, you kind of take it, I took it for granted a little bit because, you know, it's there every day. And, um, you know, there were plenty of other things when I was growing up that took my attention away. Apart from sport, it was, you know, drinking things like um, boys do. So, uh, I could think of a lot of things. Uh, but anyway, there was a lot of things that, um, uh, reasons why I, I can't do it for granted. Anyway, I digress. So, the third most important reason is, without doubt, without a doubt, 
my love of nature and the outdoors, obviously, but a, a love of nature. Uh, I mean, I really appreciate it. I, I had um, 10 years living in Malta, and there's not a whole lot of nature there, and I always intended to learn photography and so on. Um, but, you know, coming to Sweden, you know, kind of opened my eyes to, uh, you know, the appreciation of what Mother Nature provides us. Um, and, and, you know, I just love roaming the, the beaches and the, the rocky uh, coastline. And I love, 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 love being in the, in the forest. You know, I would just walk through forests, you know, if, five years ago or something and uh, and not necessarily see the beauty in it you know you're aware of it but when you get into photography you start learning to see everything which gathers an appreciation of nature you know and life and, and animals and wildlife and so on um, so you know that in itself becomes a, you know a way of life and I, I project that onto you know my six-year-old Chloe and, um, you know, I can actually already see her. I mean, most Swedes are very nature-driven and uh, earthy people. And, and she's becoming like that too. And it's something I'm, you know, very grateful for. So, yep, the third most important reason to get into photography, guys, is definitely, definitely nature. So number four, by no means least, um, yeah, it's making new friends, you know, and acquaintances, but, you know, let's say friends, um, you know, you share the same interests. And, and photography isn't really good that way. You know, I've, uh, as we get older, we move on, we become more and more distant from people, particularly when you're changing country. Um, quite a few times, like I've done over the years, um, you find that your oldest friends probably stay with you a bit longer, but, you know, New friends, as you get older, and you have a family, it's maybe, uh, maybe harder to come by. And photography has definitely introduced me to like-minded people. Um, I'm not going to mention names, but I've got a good friend in Iceland. Uh, he's a great photographer. He's taught me a lot. Um, I've got a couple of photographer friends here in Sweden, and certainly a couple in uh, Scotland and England uh, that I'm very pleased to call friends. And um, that is... Uh, no small thing. So a reason to get into photography, which I think is really important, is, is yeah, it's making new friends. So we're at number five. So the, the last reason, I could write a whole list by the way, but the last reason uh, in this set of five um, is, well, it kind of opens up new doors, um, new financial doors. I mean, Although I'm a focused uh, landscape photographer, loves minimalism photography and so on, I also like um, shooting people. <laughs> Not literally, but yeah, I, I like uh, photographing people. And um, out in nature mainly, and I've done quite a lot of model photo shoots and um, you know, portrait sessions with families and so on. I've even done one wedding. Uh, not especially the things I'm interested in, but certainly opens up new doors for, you know, financial income streams. Um, so although I'm not reliant on photography for an income, you know, I don't think, um, I don't think I'm good enough necessarily. And I also don't think <coughs> these days uh, that it is that easy to make a lot of money off photography, but I do make money from photography and I do sell prints. This is a gallery which uh, is actually yet to open, um, but I've sold quite a lot of prints in the last five or six years. And um, so yeah, it, it opens up new financial avenues for you. And if you were really dedicated and um, younger than me, maybe you would, um, maybe you could find the, your route into photography as a living. Because um, I, I, I do YouTube and Instagram and so on um, because it's fun. So you've got the social media aspects of presenting your work and so on, which you know obviously doesn't make any money, but it certainly helps your profile. Um, but you know, I think that when in order for a nice print of somewhere where you live, and obviously you've taken the time and trouble to get to the location, and you, somebody will come along and go, you know, 
wow, that's great. I'd love to have that as a print. And you get a really cool feeling, really, well, I should say a nice warm feeling when you sell something and you can see your work or you know your work is hanging on somebody's wall. So these are, these are financial doors that open for you as a photographer and, you know, learning new skills. So these are my five top reasons for getting into photography back in 2015. So I'm going to wind this video up there. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've watched to the end. And um, if you enjoyed this video and this content, I'm going to be making more videos from this studio. And uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind uh, liking and subscribing to the channel and making a comment because that really helps grow it. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. So until the next video, bye for now.